Hi guys, happy well, Dr. Aman here, Aurora Medical Education. I thought I'd do a really quick video on something that I see a lot of people struggling with in role play scenarios, whether it's things like CSA or PLAB2 or any other role play situation, where you're in a situation, say for example, you're seeing Mr. JT, a 65 year old gentleman who's got renal cancer, uh, metastatic renal cancer, and they're coming to see you and ask about a couple of queries. And the question they ask is, Doctor, how long have I got left? Now, this is a really challenging situation. And as a doctor, you've got to make sure that you're given an appropriate answer, not something that's not correct, but also not something that's gonna um, worry or leave things hanging. So we talk about two things that are really important in this type of scenario. Number one, acknowledging the question, and that's really important. We'll talk about what I mean by that in a second. And number two, not getting stuck in that situation. Because if you don't, if you get yourself stuck, it's really hard to get out of and it gets harder and harder and harder. So say for example, this gentleman has asked me this question. The first thing I'm going to do is acknowledge this. Mr. X, look, I can, I can imagine in this situation, you'll have lots of questions, lots of worries, lots of doubts, um, and we're here to try and help them as much as we can. Acknowledge it first. If you get a question, doctor, how long we got left? And we kind of try and just move on and, and, and ignore the question, it's only gonna come back at you again and it's gonna break that, re that rapport, interpersonal skills, it's all gonna start to suffer and the patient starts to feel unlistened to, unheard if we're trying to fog them off. So acknowledge it, Mr. X, I can, I can, I can understand, I can imagine how this is gonna cause a lot of challenging questions. You must have a lot of things going through your mind right now. We're, we're here to try and help as much as we can. But the second part of this is not getting stuck. If you don't do anything to move the conversation forward, then you get stuck and the question keeps coming. So doctor, what do you think? Like, what's your gut feeling? Like how long, you know, have I got three months? Have I got six months? Things are happening, I've got a holiday booked. So you've got to try and make sure you don't get stuck, otherwise you're gonna just be hit with the same question again and again, naturally, because you know the person wants to know the answer. So we talk about flipping the conversation forward into something that you can talk about. So Mr. X, look, I, I can understand that you know this is a really difficult question and, and these kind of questions are going to be there in your mind right now. Look, I'll be honest, I don't have all the answers to those things right now, but let's talk about the kind of things that we can do to try and get ourselves closer to that answer for you. So there's a couple of things we can do, A, B, C. So by not getting stuck, by kind of moving this, this situation forward, by thinking about a resolution-based approach, how can I keep this ball rolling? I've acknowledged the question, so I've not ignored it, hoping it goes away, but also I've, show, I've been honest that I haven't got an answer to that situation right now, but I've moved the situation forward. Let's look at a couple of things that we can do to try and get ourselves a little bit closer to those answers. So when you get a question like this, and this will come up in medical exam role plays a lot, where you get questions that you either don't have an answer to, or it's just so vague that you don't wanna say something that's gonna worry things too much. Of course, you gotta be honest. If you have answers, you have to be honest. But if you don't have answers to these questions, number one, acknowledge it. If you don't acknowledge it, there's a big gap in, in, the, in the interpersonal skills. It looks like you're ignoring and just hoping the problem goes away. But number two, don't get stuck. Be honest that you don't have the answer, but move the conversation forward into something that you can talk about that can get you back on track to move things forward to start to put a plan in place. Really important to practice this when you get kind of breaking back news scenarios or any scenario where there are challenging questions that you don't have an answer to. We do much more like this across social media. YouTube, subscribe to us, please. Facebook, like our page. Instagram, follow us. We just want to teach you with all these little tips and tricks for communication skills, but also clinical teaching as well. The website auroramedicaleducation.co.uk. Please find one of our online courses where we go into this in much more detail, audiobook courses, and then we hopefully get to see you at one of our day courses in the future as well. You know the hashtag? Can pass, will pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora. Have a great day.